I'm here with Lucas Kirk after a 55-30 win in the 2014 Subway Bowl. Lucas, 9-7 over Lord Tweetmere a couple weeks ago, then 16-13 in a come from behind win over Terry Fox, and then today you have a blowout. How did that happen? I don't know. I definitely think the weather was a factor in the other two games, you know, the snow and the rain. But we came out and we wanted this very bad. Uh, last time we played Mount Doug, they completely destroyed us. And this was a statement game for us to just you know, prove that that was not us when we played. And we came out. A lot has been made about Mount Douglas's offense, but you no, know, really, their defense doesn't get talked about as much. But you guys did something that no other team has been able to, and that's really not only put you know, points on the board, but put a lot of points on the board. Um, just talk about the way that your offense was clicking today. Right, once we got going, the first touchdown, uh, everything was going well. Um, the blocking was amazing on the O-line. The receivers were running their routes, their routes amazing. Uh, it was just a complete team effort on offense. It, you couldn't ask for any more. It was amazing. That 44-7 loss that you guys had in the regular season, there was a lot of bad blood between the teams. But at the end of the day, you know what? You guys beat a really, really good team. And what can you say about your opponents? What do you mean about my opponents? Well, what can you say about like Mount Douglas? Like, well, Mount Douglas, they're an amazing team. They hit hard and they play hard football. Uh, like you said, a lot of bad blood because they, they took it to us last time we played them. They just hit us, they out physical us, and they're an amazing team. It feels it's great to get this win. Hey, Lucas, congratulations. Most outstanding back in the Subway Bowl, and show everyone your medal. Okay, congratulations. Thank you very much. Right, so I'm here with Ray Moon, head coach of South Delta, who I've interviewed probably like a million times already, but <laughs> <laughs> congratulations on the win today. Thank you very much. And um, I guess, well, several questions. Um, well, I guess the first thing is, um, basically, I would say that your team is kind of like the Cinderella team of the whole playoffs, um, beating out Terry Fox and then beating out Mount Douglas in the final. Um, really good, great job today. Um, what do you think your team did today um, that was there from last time? Well, one thing, the momentum from uh, the victory over Terry Fox really helped. Mm -hmm. Plus, it was a bit of a... The, the guys knew they didn't play their best game against Mount Doug, so they wanted to make a statement, and they were getting ready. They were getting ready for this game the day we uh, left the field from Mount Doug, and they, they wanted to come back and actually say, we'd like to see you again. We want to prove what we can do. So that was some of the motivating factors behind today's game. Yeah, and I think um, you guys definitely proved yourself today as well. Awesome, awesome. Thank and you. Um, what went through your mind like when you guys, I guess, knew that you had, you had it in the bag? I never think I have it I in mean, the bag until the, very, the, the final whistle. Yeah, at the very final whistle. Like, what was going through your mind? Uh, a, a ton of different things. Um, uh, I think a thank you to everybody that's helped and all the kids for what they did. Like, they left everything on the field. We had guys limping, we had guys banged up and everything else, and it's like, you couldn't pull them off the field right now. The momentum was there, they had to be there. So it was uh, a thank you for our fans, our support, and especially the players that uh, worked so hard ever since January of last year. In fact, some started December of last year after our semi-final loss to get ready for this game. So, yeah. and, um, last question, um, I know it's a really good team effort. Um, what can you tell us about some of your key players like Lucas Kirk, Jack McDonald, and people like that? Well, Lucas, uh, like during the game last week, he said if, after we had a bad first quarter, he said, if you get me the ball, I'll score. And so he said that a couple of times, we were able to get him the ball, he scored twice. He says, coach, same deal this week. I says, okay, you got it. <laughs> if we can make some key stops, which we had to do, um, then give the ball to Lucas. Now, Lucas is a multifaceted player. He can run, he can pass, uh, you know, and he takes command of the situation. So with that, we felt the utmost confidence with him. And uh, he's, a, he's a great player, and I can see him playing at the next level. Awesome, and that's all the questions we have, but uh, awesome job with high five. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.